You're watching SBCTA Today, bringing you the latest San Bernardino County transportation updates to keep you moving. Earlier this summer, we celebrated the long-awaited arrival of ZEMU, North America's first self-powered zero-emission passenger train that will meet Federal Railroad Administration requirements. The train uses a hybrid hydrogen and battery technology to propel the train and power onboard electrical systems. Water vapor is the only emission generated by the train, making this a clean transit alternative. Now in recognition of this innovative milestone, SBCTA invited local, state, and federal leaders to take a first-hand look at ZEMU. So let's hear what they had to say. It's a great day in San Bernardino, first off, because as the mayor of the city of San Bernardino, we have this amazing hydrogen rail, first in the nation. And so it's very exciting because it's gonna address everything that we have been trying to address. Take it away. Perfect, thank you. Hey, I wanna thank my staff, um, our executive director, Ray Wolf, um, our staff, my board members mm -hmm. could not have done this with all, without us working together. And I'm so proud of what we've done. And look at, it's finally here. The California State Transportation Agency supported SPCTA's vision for a zero emission passenger train because of its potential application to transit agencies throughout the state. That belief led to CalSTA providing nearly $52 million in grant funding to support research, development, testing, and analysis of ZEMU. CalSTA Secretary Tokes Omushakin shared a few words about what this means for California. Uh, look, Governor Newsom likes to say California is America's coming attraction. So whatever you want to see in the future in this country that's innovative, that's advanced, that's going to make a tremendous difference, look to California to be leading the way. And I think that's what's going to happen with these ZIMU uh, trains that were rolled out here today by the SBCTA team. We also heard from Amit Bose, the administrator for the Federal Railroad Administration, who praised ZEMU as a groundbreaking transportation milestone for Southern California. This is a big win for riders utilizing the Aero Corridor between San Bernardino and Redlands, and a big win for cities across Southern California. ZEMU is currently in the final phase of testing that includes syncing with Metrolink's operating system and test runs along the Aero Corridor on the San Bernardino County line. Here's what Metrolink CEO Darren Kettle has to say about this exciting new technology. As the CEO of Metrolink, I am super excited that we are going to be the very first region in the United States to operate a hydrogen fuel cell battery powered vehicle. ZEMU was brought to life thanks to our partners at Stodler, and joining us from the beginning of Zimu's journey is Stodler U.S. CEO Martin Ritter. Let's hear how he feels to celebrate Zimu's arrival in San Bernardino County. So certainly grateful and proud to be here today, not only for everyone who was involved, but also for the future. The perspectives we have with this train, not only for this region and this community, but really for the entire state and eventually for the entire nation. We're excited for ZEMU to enter service and continue its amazing journey to make zero emission passenger rail a reality in Southern California and beyond. Stay tuned for updates on upcoming testing that will include occasional weekend train horns and test runs along the Aero Corridor. Visit gosbcta.com slash ZEMU for more information. And be sure to follow GoSBCTA on Instagram, Facebook, and X for more updates. We plan, we build, you move.